Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we're going to talk about the question level order traversal of a binary tree. In my previous video we talked about depth first traversals which are pre-order, in-order and post-order and what depth first traversal does is it goes into the depth of the tree before exploring the new breadth. For breadth first traversals what they do is they explore every level before going to the next level. So for this tree, for example, the pre-order traversal, which is a depth first traversal, what it does, it goes to 10, 9, 11, 15, and then it explores the new, new uh, path, which is minus 10, 16, 18, 21, and 19. So that's pre-order traversal, and that's a depth first traversal. Today, we're gonna to look at level order traversal, which starts from 10, then it goes 9 and minus 10, then it goes 11, 16, 21, and finally 15, 18, and 19. So it prints in this form, 10, 9, minus 10, 11, 16, 21, 15, 18, and 19. Notice how we first print the entire level before going into the next level. For depth first traversal, we use recursion, which kind of simulated a stack to uh, solve the problem. Here, we are going to use a different data structure, which is Q, to solve this problem. Q is a first in first out data structure which means that the element which goes into the first element which goes into the Q is the first element to come out. So let's say we have a Q here 5 4 first in and first out. So the way it starts is I put the root into the Q and now I'm saying is while the Q is not empty I'll keep repeating same process over and over again. So I take 10 out of the queue. I see if 10 has left, it does have left, so I put that into the queue. And then I see if 10 has right, it does have right, so I put that into the queue and then print 10. Then I take 9 out of the queue and see if 9 has a left, it does, so 11. 9 doesn't have a right, so I just print 9. Then I take out minus 10 out of the queue. Minus 10 has left, so I put that into the queue and then it has right 21, so I put that into the queue and print minus 10. Then I go and I pick the next element, which is 11, and 11 doesn't have a left, but it does have a right, so I put that into the queue and print 11. Then I take out 16 from the queue. 16 has a left, so I put that into the queue, does not have a right, so I print 16. Then I have 21. 21 doesn't have a left, but it does have a right, so I put 21 in here. Then 15 doesn't have left or right. So I just take it out and print it. 18 and 19 also doesn't have left or right. So we just take it out and print them. And finally the queue is empty. So we break out of this while loop. How much time would it take to uh, execute this problem? Since we, are, uh, we, since we are visiting every node once, it'll take O of n time to solve, uh, to execute this algorithm. How much space would it take to execute this problem? So the space complexity depends on the size of the queue. And in the worst case, the queue will have all the leaf nodes. And we know that the total number of leaf nodes possible is n by two elements if there are n nodes in the tree. So the space complexity of this algorithm will also be n O of n. Next, let's look at the code for this algorithm. So here is the code for level order traversal. Let's quickly glance through the structure of the code. The name of the function is level order traversal. Doesn't return anything because we are just printing the nodes. It takes root of the tree. If the root is null, it just returns. Otherwise, it creates a queue of nodes backed up by a linked list. This is Java declaration. Then I add a root to the queue and then I keep repeating the process until the queue is empty, which is taking the top of the queue, printing out the queue, printing top of the queue, which is root, printing out the root data checking if left exists and adding it to the queue, checking if right exists and adding it to the queue. Let's see how that works out with this, uh, this example binary tree. So my root is 10, so root is uh, here, so root is not null. So we create this queue and then we add 10 to the queue. So queue, while queue is not empty, so queue is not empty. So we pull, root becomes queue's top. So queue's top is 10, so root becomes 10. Then first thing we do is we print out 10, so 10 gets printed. If root has left, so we add that. So 21 has, 10 has left, so that gets added here. 
if root right is not null, tens right is not null, so we add 19 here. And then we again go to the top of the while loop. Again, Q is not empty, so we pull, root becomes uh, Q's top, so we remove this from the Q, and we, root becomes 21. Uh, 21 doesn't have a left child, so first thing we do is we print out 21. 21 doesn't have a left child, so it doesn't go into this, this if condition. 21 does have a right child, so it goes into this, which is 15. And then we again go to the top. Again, Q is not empty, so root becomes uh, Q dot pole. So root becomes 19, and we, re we remove that from the Q. Uh, 19 has a left child, so we add that to the Q, so minus 6. 19 also has a right child, so we add that to the Q. We print 19, and then we again go to the top of the while loop. So again, Q is not empty. We take out the top of the Q into the root. So root becomes 15. First thing we do is we print out 15. 15 has a left child, so that's 18. And uh, 15 does not have a right child, so it doesn't go into this if condition. Again, goes to the top of the while loop. Q is again not empty, so we take out minus 6 from here and the root becomes minus 6. First thing we do is we print out minus 6. Minus 6 does not have a left child, so it doesn't go here. Minus 6 does have a right child, so it goes into here, 17. And again, Q is not empty, so we take out 0. So root becomes 0. And first thing we do is we print out 0. 0 doesn't have a left child, but it does have a right child, so 12. Uh, I, Again, Q is not empty, so we take out 18, and root becomes 18. And 18 is, 18, the first thing we do is we print out 18. 18 doesn't have a left or right child, so it doesn't go into this if. Then we pull 17 out of the Q. 17, first thing we do is we print out 17. 17 also does not have left or right child. So we again go to the top of the while loop. We take out 12 from the Q. And if we print out 12, 12 doesn't have left or right child. So finally, we go again to the top of the while loop. Q is empty, so it breaks out of the while loop and returns the function. So this is our level order traversal 10, 21, 19, then 15, minus 6, 0, and then 18, 17, and 12. If you want the running code for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece interview wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user to 2525 Thanks for watching this video.